So the uh, study that was just uh, published in the American Journal of Cardiology was a comparison of metoprolol and carbetolol in a large registry called the Obtain Registry. Uh, just very briefly, the Obtain uh, Registry was a uh, study that was designed to assess the impact of beta blocker dosing on outcome after myocardial infarction. Um, the initial premise of the Obtain Registry was that it, it was well known that patients after myocardial infarction were being treated with doses of beta blockers that were substantially lower than the doses that were used in the randomized clinical trials that demonstrated their effectiveness. Uh, so it sounds like they should be less effective if you're using them at lower doses. Um, and that was the initial hypothesis in the obtained registry. Uh, it turned out that that was not the case, that in fact, uh, we saw at least as much benefit of lower doses of beta blockers um, and perhaps even a little bit better benefit than we saw at the full doses. Uh, now in the obtained registry, the vast majority of patients were treated with metoprolol. Carbetolol was the second uh, most prescribed uh, medication and uh, therefore we were able to compare the results of metoprolol and carbetolol. Um, for the most part, they seem to perform equally well after myocardial infarction. They also both demonstrated that same uh, kind of dose response. So there was no benefit to higher doses versus lower doses. And really when we talk about lower doses, we're talking about 25% of the maximal, the target dose uh, that was used in randomized clinical